Electrical engineers design and build the systems and machines that generate, transmit, measure, control and use electrical energy. This includes the computers and networking equipment enabling the internet through to power stations providing electricity to your home. I always enjoyed electronics in school and I find electrical engineering, the scale of it just so large, the way it impacts our society in so many different sectors and areas and I found that as a young student just so exciting. Any sort of pathway you head into within the future, you know, electrical engineering will pave the way for it. You know, smart electricity grids, you have wireless charging systems, the future of quantum computers, the um, devices for virtual and augmented reality, to even the electrification of, of cars. The paths are really limitless. Throughout this four-year degree, you'll study a series of core units as you master the foundations of electrical engineering. You may also have the opportunity to study with our electrical engineering and energy laboratories. Two dynamic leading environments housing industry standard equipment. The electrical engineering lab is a learning based or research based environment and it offers you a diverse range of technologies that you'd be able to move forward with and apply it within industry. As long as you have the foundation of familiarity with these different technologies, you'd be able to adapt to any situation. Internet of Things, or IoT as commonly known, is our newest measure. It's going to find many applications in the coming decade. You probably have seen many of the devices now needing to connect to internet, as in your smart watches. It's estimated that there are a trillion devices needing internet connections over the next decade. Since graduating last year, I've been working in a consulting engineering firm as a professional electrical services engineer. I love the fact that it's not just about having technical skills, but it's about really using those skills, um, having good interpersonal skills and developing client relationships that really is such a fundamental part to the work that we do. The choice to study at the University of Sydney was, was one that I'm very happy I made. 